हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम 477 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द जॉज ऑफ लाइफ डिवाइस इज यूटिलाइज्ड बाय द रिस्क्यूअर्स टू प्राय अपार्ट रैकेज दस हेल्पिंग टू फ्री एक्सीडेंट विक्टिम्स राइट फर्दर इट इज सेड दैट इफ अ प्रेशर ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मेगा पासकल इज डिवेलप बिहाइंड द पिस्टन सो हियर वी हैव अ पिस्टन which has an cross sectional area of 13 into 10 to the power 3 mm square and the pressure applied at the piston surface is 3.5 mega pascal so we are required to determine the vertical force r which is exerted by the jar tips on the wreckage for the position shown right so we have to find this r force which is applied by the jaws of this uh, device right when 3.5 mega pascal pressure is applied right and further it is said that note that link ab and its counterpart are both horizontal in the figure for this position right so this eb link and the whole uh, this edge is also horizontal right so th this is given that this is not making any angle with the horizontal right so all this ab link and this edge is horizontal right so we have to find the r force applied so is we are given the pressure so pressure is equal to force per unit area and pressure is given as 3.5 mega pascal so mega is 10 to the power 6 and pascal we can write pascal is newton per meter square right so we are required to find the force so force will be equal to the pressure times area so pressure is 3.5 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by the area so area is given in terms of millimeter square and this the units of pressure are in newton per meter square so we have to convert the millimeter square into meter square right this multiply in this is area which is 13 into 10 to the power 3 this is mm square so as we know that 1 meter equals to 10 to the power 3 mm so 1 meter square will be equal to 10 to the power this squared right so we can write that this will be 10 to the power 3 square so this will be 6 and this will be squared right so this will be cancelled out millimeter square will be cancelled out right 10 to the power 6 will be cancelled out so we will be left with the force equals to 3.5 into 13 into 10 to the power 3 newton right so we can write this as a uh, 3.5 into 13 this is 45.5 and 10 to the power 3 is kilo right so we can write that the force is 45.5 kilo newton so this force is the total force which is applied uh, at at both the jaws right at this point and at this point right so since we will only consider this lower jaw right so we will consider this only force which is applied at this point b so the force at point b will be equal to the half of this force right so this force is distributed into two equal parts right so we will write that this is f divided by 2 so f is uh, 45.5 divided by 2 so answer divided by 2 Right, so this is a twenty-two point seven five. So the force at B is twenty-two point seven five newtons. Right. So now I will consider this lower jaw as a free body diagram. So let me isolate this. So we have this free body diagram. This is that point B. Right here, F B force is applied, which has a magnitude of. 22.75 newton and this is that point c so at point c we have two reaction forces let's say this is uh, cx and this is let's say cy if this is a uh, my positive x and y direction right and as we can see that this lower jaw is applying the r force in the lower direction so as a reaction this rock will apply the force in the opposite direction right so we will have that r force here in the opposite direction right so let me write that this is r and this is vertical remember right so now if i apply the summation of moment about point c equals to 0 if i apply the summation of moment about point c equals to 
and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this r force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point c so i will write r and the perpendicular distance of this r from that point c is this 450 mm distance right so we will multiply this r with 450 mm and similarly as we can see that uh, this fb force is producing the clockwise moment about that point c so i will write minus and fb magnitude is 22.75 and the perpendicular distance of this FB force from that point C is given here. This for the perpendicular distance is 100, right? This distance is 100. So I will multiply this with 100, right? So this is equal to 0. So from this we can find the R force which is applied by the lower jaw of this device on this rock, right? So this is equal to 22.75 into 100 divided by 450 so this is uh, 5.055 so we can write that r is equal to 5.06 and since this uh, force is in new uh, kilonewton right here i have to write that this is in kilonewton so we will write that this is also kilonewtons right so this is the force applied by the by this lower jaw on this rock which is equal to 5.06 kilonewton if 3.5 megapascal pressure is applied at this piston right so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood this problem if if these uh, solutions help you so kindly like these videos so that promote uh, youtube can promote my channel